Hi everybody. Welcome back to Healing with Love slash Healing with Numbers here on Instagram. So happy to 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 Tuesday, everybody. It's the twos on a Tuesday. Um, it is a very powerful portal from here now until 222. This is all about patience. So we'll get into the numerology of it all and we'll do some life updates. We'll do some channeled messages that have been coming through as well. Um, of course, we're going to do the music. I feel like the music is speaking to a lot of us uh, on a very deep level. So we will get to that. Um, yeah, so let's let us let's get started. Uh, okay, so I've been very sick for the past uh, week or so, so my throat might be a little a little off. My voice might be a little off today, but I did not want to miss uh, doing a reading today, <clears throat> just because the, the amount of synchronicities that have been happening lately lately <laughs> um, have been astounding. Like, you know, sometimes I wonder if this is like one big fever dream. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys feel the same way as well. So we're going to just discuss 222. I think a lot of you guys have probably been seeing 222 um, a lot before the before 222 even happened. So it's a very, it's a very um, auspicious number. It does represent a lot. So we'll get into, let me get my pen so I can get these numbers down here. So today, and then on the 22nd, will be a 12, 3. Okay, 22 master number. Okay, so we're gonna, let's get started here. Um, okay, so, hello everybody. I'm, I'm coming to you live from, uh, I'm in, currently in New Hampshire. Um, so I'm on the East Coast. Usually I am, streaming from the West Coast. So I'm on a, a road trip and I happen to stop here in New Hampshire to visit my good friend Erica from Reiki Recovery Wellness. So thank you Erica for your hospitality and for hosting Frankie and I. We are having a great time here and we're excited to uh, record in your space today. So thank you for allowing us this, um, for supporting us on this journey. We are very, very grateful. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get my tea here. So thank you, Erica. Um, and what's interesting, so it was, I think it was on my first day that I was here. Um, there's just some synchronicities that happened. Uh, there's been synchronicities happening ever since I left Maine. So my journey began in Maine. Frankie and I flew into Maine to see my friend Cassia, who is currently battling breast cancer, uh, stage three. So we stopped there for a while and um, had ourselves an adventure, you could say. And so now we are in New Hampshire, we are moving out. So I left on Friday, was staying at a hotel. And from the moment that I left that day uh, and arrived to the hotel, it has been nothing but uh, amazing synchronicities, um, unbelievable synchronicities. I almost had to like keep pinching myself or doing my lucid dream uh, verification to see, is this a dream? Is this really happening? Uh, Cause it's been really strange. So I'm kind of um, excited to talk about all these strange synchronicities with you guys and to get into this reading. So, but we're gonna always, as always, begin with the numerology and maybe a little bit of Reiki to kind of just get us um, opened up and cleared out for this powerful portal, a uh, manifestation portal. So, I'm currently having um, High Priestess Lotus Ohm tea. So, great tea, so let's get started. So, two, two, two. Well, today is actually 2-2. Two, two. Um, it would be uh, reducing down to a 4. Uh, it wouldn't technically be, some people are saying, well, it's 22. Well, no, technically it's not because it's two totally different segments. So it would be considered a 4. Um, but since it's also 20, 2022, it all reduces back down to the number 10. So today is a time of rebirth, rejuvenation, uh, the phoenix rising from the ashes, right? This is all about the rebirth of, um, since it's the number two, we know it's about partnerships. So the rebirth of partnerships, it's also about patience. So the, the message of patience has been coming through very strongly since I arrived on the East Coast. Now, 
sorry, my throat's really scratchy. Um, I do, uh, I walked in and, and Erica handed me this beautiful watermelon tourmaline to check out. It's not mine, it's hers. Um, it's so beautiful. I'm sure you can see that, but it looks like a little watermelon, right? It's beautiful. And it's one of the most powerful, powerful crystals that I've worked with, um, watermelon tourmaline in general. And I was telling her the story of the very first person that gave me, I was actually telling my friend, um, Nadia over at, um, I'm spacing right now because she changed her name. Um, but Nadia knows who, who she is. Uh, she used to be light work, um, might work something. Ugh, I'm spacing today. I'm like in this weird fog. Anyways, don't mind me. I'm gonna go off tangent for for a little while. But anyway, she, I was telling Nadia the story of how I received uh, a watermelon tourmaline um, almost 20 years ago, or maybe 16, 17 years ago. Um, my friend at the time, I was going through a very dark time, and he suggested I go see uh, a therapist. And I, I've seen many therapists before, and I said I don't know about that. He recommended this one. It was a shaman. She was a shaman, but also a, th a therapist. So I went to her and we did a lot of very deep healing work. A lot of it had to do with childhood trauma and um, uh, treating that childhood trauma that you went through. And the crystal that she gifted me was a watermelon tourmaline. And this watermelon tourmaline is very good for people that um, have a lot of childhood trauma or issues from their childhood, um, how it manifests in their life now. And a lot of the times, the way that we do things now are based on the way that we were traumatized as children. So it's a great crystal to clear that trauma out. Um, it's uh, great for compassion, forgiveness, forgiving, forgiving of yourself, having more compassion for yourself, and definitely having patience, patience for yourself. So the number two is about patience. Yes, it's about partnerships, it's about peace, it's about love, it's about harmony, but it's really also about patience. Uh, learning how to be patient with yourself and learning how to be patient with others on this journey. So, it's a great crystal. Thank you, um, Erica, for allowing me to work with your crystal while I'm here. And to share it with you guys here today. So uh, she gifted me another crystal and I forgot what it's called. I think it's, oh, I forgot what it's called. I think it's mango calcite. I'm not sure. But uh, thank you for that. And she gifted me an, also a beautiful necklace that I forgot to put on. But thank you, Erica. Uh, so let's get started. So we were talking about 222, 222, what's today, right? So this is about the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is a spiritual rebirth. So a lot of us are having a, another wave of a spiritual awakening. Um, we're realizing our powers of manifestation are very, very strong. So this is about really um, focusing, what is your mind thinking, play, replaying, right? Because you're manifesting that into reality. What is your constant thought that's manifesting in your reality? So the number 10. And, and 222, well, 222 is 22 is a master number. So that number is going to be all about the master teacher. So I'll do another, I, I'm hoping to do another uh, reading for 222, but just in case I don't, I'm going to discuss that one as well. So when on the 22nd, Frankie, on the 22nd, uh, it's going to be a 13, no, a 12, reduce that to a three. So that's going to be all about creativity, communication, the master teacher communicating their voice, teaching others, uh, you know, being the leader and also partnerships because the number 12 is all about leadership as well as partnerships. So um, remember to collaborate, but also remember that you are a leader and not to not to forget that. Not, don't lose yourself in the background uh, of partnerships, right? Okay, let's keep going. So um, 22, once again, is a master, it's the master teacher. A lot of people, uh, one of the repeating sinks that I have, that I was getting a lot was 22. That is the master teacher. It's also, once again, mastering the art of patience. So maybe a lot of people have been testing your patience, how you uh, react to things, um, almost being observant versus reactive. So very powerful. And um, yeah, so the number three, the Holy Trinity, another number that has been appearing a lot was the number 33. We all know that's the master number of enlightenment. Uh, the number 1212 12 has been appearing, so also reducing that, 33. Three. So 1212, 12, um, the number six, all about nurturing yourself, all about balance. 
right? I'm like, what is that? Uh, all about balance. Um, 33, 6, uh, nurturing, balance. It's about family as well. So maybe being patient with family, being patient with your friends, and finding your soul tribe as well. Um, 33, you can go down a whole rabbit hole of the number 33 on, on um, Google. Um, but it is an ascended master number. 22 and 33 are the ascended master numbers, 11 as well. And they are repeating numbers that a lot of you have been seeing. 11, 11, uh, 222, 444, 555, 33. The number 18 has been popping up a lot. And uh, I, I posted something about the number 18 and, and extraterrestrials in my last reel. So you can go check that out whenever you get a chance. The number 18 uh, reduces back down to 9. That's the humanitarian. Stepping into your humanitarian role, uh, your gift to the world is your gift of humanitarianism, helping others, right? Hi! Somebody's watching! Yay! <laughs> okay, so we're going to get back down. So, And so the number one is all about leadership and new beginnings. And number eight is all about money. It's about finances. It's about abundance. It's about power and, infinite, and infiniteness, right? Uh, so I'm seeing like 18 being is like, it's you, you have this, you're independent now. You are, you are free to do whatever you want. Uh, you are your own entrepreneur making your own money and it's that feeling of freedom, right? When you're able to uh, be independent. There's just this great feeling that you feel um, when you are independent. And so I feel a lot of you guys are being independent. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, so uh, dreams. <laughs> We're going to get into dreams now. So a lot of you guys might have been having really... Um, profound dreams or just weird dreams uh dreaming about um let's say uh past relationships or past friendships um a lot of these dreams may seem like a lucid dream or like an alternate dimension like things are just happening on some other realm and you are tapping into that so it's almost like the dimensions are superposed superimposing uh upon each other and so that's, that's what all the dimensions are. They're all pretty much just merged together, layer upon layer upon layer. So if you've ever done Photoshop uh, or any type of like painting or artwork or stuff, you know, layers. There are layers. <laughs> and that's how everything is. It's frequency layers. Um, so, yeah, so a lot of weird dreams, um, a lot of past life dreams, a lot of past life uh, energy. Um I was going to share a dream that I just recently had to kind of give an example of just how strange these dreams are. So I was like, uh, it was a friend was getting married or something and I was trying to like go ahead of them to like lead the way. And I started flying to kind of like uh, show them, you know, this way, this is the way, the path. And I ended up uh, going to where there was a geyser and the geyser... I flew right into the geyser as it's like blowing out and I got like, ah, sort of, I got discombobulated while I was in the midst of it and all of a sudden I could just feel myself free falling back. So I heard the song free falling. I was free falling back and all of a sudden I went like that, like, you know, when you, when you jump scare, when you wake up, like you're having one of those jump scare dreams and I woke up and, um, I was in a coffin and I'm like, oh my God, freaking out because I'm in this coffin. So I finally got myself out of the coffin kicked kicked it open thinking there was going to be dirt and stuff on the other side like but no i was in a, a basement mortuary so i was in a basement uh the re basement represents your subconscious mind in in this sense your subconscious uh fears or your subconscious memories or um pretty much the subconscious so i was at the basement the very bottom level like when you hit the basement you are in the you you have hit the apex so you have gone as deep as you can possibly go when you hit the basement. So I guess I did. I've gone as deep as I can possibly go. And I woke up and I got out and I looked around and I could feel something dripping on the back of my neck. And I looked, I put my hand back there and my brain was hanging out. So I put my hand to hold my brain in and I'm looking around and I see an elevator. There's two elevators. One was already taken so the one that was here was right here so I got to the elevator on my right uh, right representing the divine feminine aspect right so I got in and I took it to the very top and then I exited and I'm looking for help and I see a police officer and 
he calls for help, but it's taking too long. So I start running, looking for like a, a hospital or paramedic. And these paramedics were happened to be driving by and they, uh, they stopped and I went up to them and they said, I, everybody was looking at me cause my brain's falling out. And they were like panicking and they called for backup. And they're like, we have a woman here, you know, head injury, trauma, blah, 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 blah. And he held me and then I closed my eyes and then I woke up. So I feel like that was me experiencing one of my other lives somewhere because it was it usually happens that way there's usually an elevator involved whenever i am being reborn into a new life uh, an elevator is involved and um, i wake up i fall asleep in the dream and i wake up so so that was the dream right so so many so much symbolism behind it right so the brain falling out to me symbolized so much information, so much information that is stored in our brain. And we don't access, you know, most of that information. We only have access to, you know, a few things here and there. So that's what the dream was representing to me, other than it being an actual alternate dimension where I did, that did happen. <laughs> um, it did represent a lot subconscious. Uh, hitting the basement and then finally the elevator taking me back to the very top. So I have been to the very bottom, to the rock bottom. I've hit the bottom of my subconscious, the lowest and the furthest you can possibly go. And now I've gone to the very top that the elevator can take me. So uh, it's representative of the journey that a whole life had um, had passed. And it was a, a profound dream. Um, and I did feel that there was some Egyptian energy within that dream. I don't know why. It might have been the clothes that I was wearing, but I did feel like this Egyptian energy within that dream. So, the next uh, next channeled message is was about letting go. So, the art of letting go, uh, these epiphanies that we have of friendships that no longer are aligned with who we are, or where we're going. Um, sometimes, when we, you know, when we're attached to people, places, situations, uh, we become ghosts. Like, like it's we, we're not really growing anymore because now we have these attachments that that take from us more than we um we should allow them to so it's the art of letting go letting go of of, of people places things right so the next one of course we were talking about we were talking about patience um the art of patience uh there's things that test our patience and um we're working on how we handle that you can let people overrun you or you can um have your healthy boundaries and, and be assertive. Now the art there is balance. That's the next message is the art of balance, staying balanced, right? So you want to stay balanced um, in how you do things, right? You don't want to let people step all over you, but you also want to be assertive. So you have to find the happy medium. That's a word that came to me in the shower earlier, happy medium, happy medium. And I was like, oh, um, like happy Marcy, <laughs> happy medium. You gotta find that happy medium, like the the three bears, right? She's gotta go through all this stuff until she finds that thing. Okay, so then what else? Um, another message that has been coming through. Um, another dream was the ET dream, the one that I was telling you guys about earlier. So a lot of alien uh, dreams coming through. A lot of um, ET activity. I'm feeling. Um, so whenever you get a chance, look up to the stars. I'm sure you will see things happening there. I think a lot of people are, there's so much light pollution in a lot of the places in the world that we don't get to um, experience the light, the, the, the stars the way that a lot of places do. So I highly recommend stargazing, getting out there, looking up. Okay. Now, let's, we're going to start. We're going to get into the songs. We have a lot of songs today. Of course, I haven't. Haven't done a reading since uh, alive since eleven eleven, and at, if you guys remember my eleven eleven reading, I was feeling like um, I wasn't going to be doing readings anymore. I needed inspiration, and coming to the East Coast uh, gave me a new inspiration, gave me a new kick in my pants. I guess you would say, um, you know. Back in LA, you don't appreciate what you have till you're gone, right? So I just missing my RV and and um, missing being being having my space and uh, missing not having to um, to do anything, right? <laughs> so I kind of miss that. Um, traveling takes a toll on you. It, it 
you know, you miss home a lot. And when you're home, you want to travel. So it's like, you got to find that happy balance. So I'm glad and I'm very grateful and happy that I am inspired today to do this reading. Um, so many synchronicities have been happening that um, I posted something one day and it was Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys. And I kept saying to Frankie, Pet Sounds, woof, 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 woof. Literally, a few minutes later, I'm watching The Office on TV and he's like something about the woof program. <laughs> it's like the code word is woof. So that was pretty interesting. So things like that. Um, things manifesting into reality that quickly. So here we go. The first song came through at 8.08 this morning um, by Katy Perry. My phone was at 55%. So we're talking about freedom. Um, we are talking about adventure. We are talking about traveling. And we're also talking about transformation, right? So the rebirth, transforming things, changing things that are no longer working for you, and movement. So moving your body, moving. Uh, the first song was E.T. by Katy Perry. And um, the lyrics that stood out to me were different DNA. They don't understand you. You're from a whole nother world, a different dimension. So those lyrics right there, Maybe a lot of you are feeling that way, that you are like this E.T. who just came to Earth and people don't get you or understand you, right? Hi, Vaughn. Yes, four. I was just talking about it. If you watch the replay, I'm going to I talk about four and how it's just been coming through a lot, right? Um, been posting it a lot. And uh, yeah, it's it has a profound meaning for me aside from what it would mean numerology and of course for you too Yvonne from you know because of MIT right transformation 555 five, five. so here we go uh so that that stood out to me ET DNA so a lot of DNA uh programming happening a lot of DNA codons being unlocked I'm seeing a DNA strand um just kind of just spinning and uh, it's almost transformed into a color that I cannot comprehend or um describe if I tried almost like a tr like an iridescent um iridescent color it's just this beautiful DNA strand and I almost see it like the the codons like the ladder of each codon lighting up ding 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 I don't know why I'm guided to just ring a little bell Frankie, you want to come sit? Oh, she want to come sit. Oh, of course it's not a reading without Frankie. She's been staring at me to sit with me for since I sat down, so I feel bad. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Um, we have got... Uh, at 11, 11 a.m. came through um, I Am Love. So if you watch my stories, a lot of these songs were in there. Uh, I Am Love by the Jackson Five. Cause I am love and I'm in love with you. So that kept coming through a lot. I came through with a couple of other songs that talk about I am in love with you. And I think this can be somebody in love with you or this can be you finally loving yourself and looking in the mirror and be like, I love you. Like, you are awesome. What are you trying to do, Frankie? Here, why don't we go back on our chair? Okay, stay there. Okay. Hi, Jeannie! Whoop! I should have put a cute little filter on, on my thing. But anyway, so I am love. If you guys are familiar with my tattoo, I am love. Um... Why did I, I get that? Because I wanted to remember who I am at the core of, of everything. When I feel that the world is crumbling down, I look at that and I'm re reminded that that's what I am. You know, why I'm here is just to exist and to be loved. But Jackson 5. So it also was at 22%. So the number 22, once again, the master teacher teaching you something, right? Patience. Um, the, the name Jackson has been coming through a lot. Jack, Jackson, I don't know. But the the synchronicity was that the next song was um, 
number, with Smooth Criminal by Alien Ant Farm. So we have E.T. and Alien Ant Farm and another Jackson song. That song is originally by um, Michael Jackson. So <clears throat> as he came into the window was the sound of a crescendo. Came into her apartment, had the blood stains on the carpet. She was sitting at the table. You can see she was enabled. Um, but the lyrics that stood out to me, of course, are the, you know, that song reminds me of my friend Amy who passed away, because that's how, you know, blood stains on the carpet, the broken window. Um, you know, she was struck down, it was her doom. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? But um, but mostly the message there for me was aliens, right? Sometimes we feel like we are in an alien ant farm, right? Like there's somebody like we're in this like a you know uh, aquarium and you know somebody's like messing with us and that's that's our god up there he brought us in here. Okay, so number four was um, uh, interesting. This was just another day by Oingo Oingo Boingo Oingo Boingo. And <clears throat> immediately I was like, what is, what is just, okay, so some people would say that uh, just another day, that 222 is just another day, 222 is just another day. So the world is what you make of it. So if you believe that it's just another day, then that's your existence and that's what you believe. But if you believe that it's a powerful portal for manifestation, guess what? It will be because it's all up here. The brain is mo the most powerful thing in the universe, right? It has the ability to, to you know, the placebo effect in a lot of things, right? It's, let's take the placebo effect. You have the ability to cure yourself just by believing that you are being cured. So, yeah, so 222 two, two for me is not just another day, especially as a numerologist who understands uh, energy, right? Boingo, boingo. Um, number five, uh, Hand in My Pocket by uh, Alanis Morissette. I'm young, but I'm wise. I'm short, but I'm healthy. I don't even know. I, don't, I can't tell you the lyrics, but the, the point of the lyrics to me are like the gratitude. Like, yeah, like, so let's say I, you know, oh, I live in an RV, but I have a roof over my head. So it's always seeing the silver lining. So I got to write that down because a song came through that I forgot to write down. And that just reminded me silver lining. <coughs> okay. Let me have some tea. So you can see my voice is not as its usual perky self. I feel like I sound like froggy from little rascals. <clears throat> okay. So, do, do, do. Um, one hand in my pocket and the other one is giving a peace sign. Okay. Uh, number five, uh, number six. No. Yeah. Number six, polymorphing by chairlift. Um, so a, a lot of us are morphing into somebody, right? We're morphing into, we're transforming into who we want to transform into. We're changing our life. We're finally stepping into our power and saying, this is, the, this, this is no longer working. I want to do blah, 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 and whatever it is that you want to do, right? So polymorphing, but chairlift. So I'm, think, I'm seeing somebody snowboarding, somebody skiing. Chairlift. I'm also seeing like a massage chair. Okay, so number seven was Three Strikes by Tara J. And... It's just, um, I'm just hearing call me, call me, call me, call me. So call me. Um, oh, the other lyric that stood out to me was, I need you to free me. It's a prison inside my mind. Can you hold me? down for one night like I got three strikes so a prison inside so a lot of people are imprisoned by their thoughts by their mind by the way they see things um you know they repeat the same thing over and over every day because their thought pattern stays the same so if you're constantly saying to yourself that you're broke uh that you are this or you're that guess what you're kind of you're in that vibration you're 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 staying at that frequency so 
It's about stepping up out of that frequency. Okay. Three strikes. I'm also seeing somebody bowling. Three strikes and three strikes you're out. Like um, baseball. So baseball. Uh, number eight. And we all shine on. Like the moon and the stars and the sun. Uh, all shine on by um, John Lennon. So it, immediately it's about you shining your light, right? We're all shining on. Number nine, Hotel California, uh, which is interesting because uh, on my road trip, I'm just staying in hotels. So it's pretty, I love hotels. Like the, the thing about traveling with me is I would rather go to a hotel and just stay in my hotel instead of going and see everything. I just like the experience of being in the hotel and not having to do anything and just relaxing. I like to relax. I guess that's my favorite thing. Unless there's like something really awesome to do in the sights to see, like I really don't need to be out doing anything um so hotel california the lyrics that stood out to me is um we are programmed to receive you can check out anytime you like but you can never leave so we're programmed to receive uh and that goes back down to vietnam with rage against the machine because we are like you know radios you know we we can receive and we can transmit so, but we're programmed to receive, and what, you're programmed to receive abundance. If you if you choose to and want it, you can have it. Okay, so on a dark desert highway, cool wind in my head. Okay, number ten, untethered by Sons of Sea. Um, I can't think of the lyrics off the top of my head, but thinking of untethered, I'm thinking of a connection, uh, connected with somebody, right, and being untethered from uh, almost like. When you're you're sleeping and you astral travel, right? It's like, well, you're still tethered to your body. So I think that when you finally break free, you're untethered. You're no longer attached to things. So that goes uh, with the theme of letting go. So you are untethered. You're no longer attached to things. You're letting things go. Letting go of the control, right? A lot of people have control issues. They don't like to let go. Relinquish control. And so this is about release, relinquishing control. Um, Sons of Sea. Number nine, number eleven, Luna, Smashing Pumpkins, the Moon, Luna. Um, I'm seeing it as the shadow things being revealed, right? So the lo the Moon represents the shadow aspects of things. It's also intuition. So I'm seeing a lot of people's intuition is like, woo, like, wow, did I just experience that? Did I just predict that? A lot of foresight happening, a lot of seeing things before they happen, a lot of synchronicity happening. Your intuition is very spot on. Um, you don't need these cards to to validate your intuition. But if you need them to validate your intuition, that's there's nothing wrong with it. But you don't need it. And when you don't use the cards, you're saying you trust what's coming through here uh, and here. Here. <laughs> you're trusting that. You don't need the validation from, sor from your cards to tell you what source is telling you. Um, but it's nice. It's fun. I like using the cards because I like to have that validation and confirmation because I think it's fun like booyah it gives me like a rush <laughs> like a happy like a happy rush not like you know not like an ego rush but like wow okay that's pretty awesome like yeah thank you thank you for that confirmation and really our own choice to use cards is our own higher self's choice to use cards so we're just we're just uh driving from our highest self oh it's 256 okay uh the next song for me, this is Heaven by Jimmy Eat World. And so we're talking about uh, my first night here with Erica. And she started, She was talking about Jimmy Eat World. So it's really cool that Jimmy Eat World came through in the reading as a validation that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Um, but for me, this is Heaven. For me, being able to travel and be free uh, with my dog is Heaven. <clears throat> She's licking her paws over here. You know, I don't want you licking your paws, little girl. So, for me, this is heaven. And um, what else? It's off the album Clarity. So, that's pretty good because... So, the tea that I'm drinking, the intention that I set when I start drinking this, it's a high priestess tea. The intention that I set is clarity. So, I like to have clear messages to come through the readings that we don't have to question. Uh, that, I don't need, uh, that I don't need to clarify, right? I rarely use clarifying cards, but... Um, it's good to have the clarity. Whoop. I think this little thing's supposed to hang off. Okay. 
Oh, there it goes. Sorry if that's making a noise, guys, but my little thing came off. I don't know how to get it back on. Oh well. Okay, so for now, <laughs> shit happens, right? Shit happens. Okay, shit happens. So uh, let's get. So um, uh, we're at number thirteen. Love the number thirteen. A uh, very powerful number as well. It is State of the Art by Incubus off album eight. So the number eight popped out to me, representing entrepreneurship, but also abundance coming in. Finances improving, finances coming in. But the song itself is um, your you know, your state of the art. You you are the first of your kind. You're like the original. You are like the original, right? Uh, you the song lyric is you're antiquated, 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 right when you're realizing what you are, right when you're realizing that just how powerful this all of a sudden now, like you almost feel like you're no longer unique because now everybody is just as powerful, but it's about understanding that I am you and you are me. And yes, if you are powerful, you have a whole bunch of other amazing, powerful people that surround you. Right, 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 right. So, <clears throat> your state of the art. Do, 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 do. Look at you, you're falling apart. Built to scale, your state of the art. Now, look at you now. Okay, anyways, uh, number 14. Listen Before I Go by Billie Eilish. I don't know. I, I completely spaced and didn't write down the lyrics to this song. I don't know the lyrics to the song. Um, but listen before I go. So that'll come through for somebody in whatever form. Uh, number 15, Sweet Dreams by The Arrhythmics. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to be abused. So some people, you can't save them. Um, because they want to be in relationships that are not the healthiest because they have lessons to learn in those relationships. So let's say if you have a, a friend who's in a relationship that's just not for them, um, that's okay because that's their journey. Their, their, their soul's purpose and their journey is to learn from that relationship. And without that relationship, they probably are not going to learn. And let me tell you, I had an epiphany today uh, regarding one of my ex-boyfriends who, when I really started diving deep into spirituality, was upon his inspiration. <clears throat> because he was a very, he was very um, intuitive, and I was very intuitive, but I wanted to hone my intuition um, to get to that level, and I did. And so... Without his inspiration, I would not be here, probably would not be here doing this readings. I probably would have took a totally different route in my life. Um, so thank you to him. I will not say his name, but he knows who he is. Um, let's see. So the next song that came through was uh, Vietnam by Rage Against the Machine. Turn on the radio. Nah, fuck it. Turn it off. Fear is your only God on the radio. Nah. So the lyric, he just says fear is your only God. So, you know, sometimes people, that is exactly why they, they believe in God or they believe in that because they're afraid not to. Some people have religion, uh, believe in religion because they're afraid not to believe. Some people are Christian because they're afraid not to believe in Jesus because they're afraid they'll go to hell. A lot of fear makes people's choices. And it's a very primal instinct that is very hard to, to um to rein in or to master, right? Mastering the art of fear. Um, fear is very healthy though, right? Uh, so let's say you are, uh, you know, a child and you touch the hot stove, it burns you, right? Now you have a fear of that because now you learn that that is dangerous. So there's healthy fear, healthy ego, um, and we need it, we all need it. But now when you let fear overcome your everyday daily decisions and your actions, then we might need to look at that fear and 
to overcome it. So um, the final song was Heart of Life by John Mayer. Then a circle of your friends will defend the sill lining so um pain throws your heart to the ground love throws turns the whole thing around and fear is a friend who is understood and i know the heart of life is good that's the closing message number 17 so 17 might have significance for you a lot of people um equate that to the twin flame journey 17 number eight so very cool the heart of life is good at, at the at the main at the main um thing about life we always have to remember that at the heart of it it is good though we do see a lot of horrible things in the world especially right now it seems like the world is upside down but we have to focus keep focusing on the high right keep focusing on the good vision okay that was great. I love doing songs. I think sometimes I love doing the songs more than I love doing the cards. Because it's just effortless for me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do the cards now. Let's see just what comes through. So if you watched my story yesterday, or the day, was it the day before yesterday? Yesterday. Um, this was the card that I pulled. The uh, very first card that I pulled. This is Erica's deck that I borrowed. That's a Lenormand deck. And it was this, the key and it was number 33. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use this as for reference of what is this portal bringing in. This portal is bringing in enlightenment. Um, you are the key, you are the key, and love is key. It is a, a key that opens any door. Um, and this is all about destiny. This is all about your uh, you know soulmate relationships. Um, the number two is all about partnerships, right? Soulmates. I forgot to mention that at the very beginning. It, the two is about soulmate partnerships, soulmate connections, connecting with your soulmates. I'm here connecting with one of my soulmates, right? So Erica and I probably have many past lives together. There's just, you know, uh, an instant connection. So I see her as one of my soul, my soul family. And I know a lot of you guys are out there connecting with your soul family, your soulmates. Um, this is also about love. The number two is love which I didn't get into it at the beginning. Peace, love, and harmony. Soulmate par partnerships, love partnerships. <clears throat> not twin flame. I'm not, I don't want to talk about twin flames here. But real soulmate connections that help you grow, that help you um, be who you want to be and who you are meant to be. Okay, so I'm going to keep that one out. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put it back. Let's just do a little quick shuffle, shuffle. Oh, and before I start the cards, so we were talking about the crystal that I pulled out, right? The little um, watermelon tourmaline. And she has a bird. The bird's name is B, like the letter B. So the word, the, and he dropped a feather, and it's the exact, it's almost got, you can't see it because the lighting isn't good, but it has these flinks, fl like flecks of pink. It looks just like the watermelon tourmaline. It was really eerie. He, It was really eerie. So I think that we're all working on healing our heart and having these heart-to-heart -heart connections with people. And <clears throat> it's a beautiful thing. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna check the energy here. Um, so um, I packed all my cards to come on this trip. My suitcase was pretty heavy, but I had the uh, the Osho Zen deck, and I guess I didn't pack the deck, but there was four Osho Zen cards in my suitcase. So we had number seven, politics. So seven represents you see like you know politics to me so they, they separate us politics separate us sometimes right left right blah blah blah. a lot of separation is happening and the number two is about unity coming together so i think that we're overcoming that i'm also seeing um the kundalini energy rising in a lot of people these intense synchronicities i'm feeling energy moving through the body i'm feeling like like i'm vibrating i'm like oh, my heart's racing my my body just feels like it's vibrating so I feel like a lot of you guys are vibrating and I'm seeing the masks being removed. The masks are coming off. So the masks are going to be coming off. 
whether this is a metaphor or whether this is lately, uh, literally, right? Um, lately, I've noticed that when I read, it hasn't been metaphorical. It's been literal. So like when I talked about masks coming on uh, back in 2020, at the start of 2020, I kept seeing masks coming on, right? I, and I was talking about it as like people putting on a front, but it was real. People were actually putting on masks. So here I'm also seeing masks finally coming off, right? Goodbye to the mask industry. You are going down. Okay. We got the number two and three, 23. So that might be significant for somebody out there. Friendliness. So coming together with partnerships. I'm loving these colors. Look at this beautiful like magenta color here talking about um, the zeal chakra, hearing, connecting with spiritual, what people would call ghosts, right? Um, your your um, psychic awareness or your mediumship abilities are like on point. Like you're giving strangers messages. Like I'm seeing like you just meet somebody and you tell them something and it's got to do with somebody that's passed away in their life. So, but I'm seeing these two trees touching and connecting, like, you know, their roots are intertwined. I'm seeing this as soulmate connection. This is a beautiful soulmate collection, connection, a beautiful yellow, the sun, and this beautiful feminine energy. So I'm seeing this beautiful soulmate connection coming. This beautiful soulmate connection that's here. As above, so below. You guys are one and the same. <clears throat> Okay, then we got the isolation talks about, look at him, he's sad. He's a sad, sad panda because he can't be with his partner. <laughs> he's a sad panda, he's crying tears of ice. But I'm seeing somebody who's been in isolation, right? Or we've been in isolation for so long, right? But then look at, the final card is 10. I think we're, um, we're done with being in isolation. We're done with isolating ourselves. We're coming out of our... Um, we're coming out of our thing. We're coming out of our our isolation. <laughs> but you know what I love about this card? I love the dolphins because I literally was just talking to Erica today about we were talking about Reiki, um, Reiki manuals and stuff. And uh, there was I was talking about dolphins. Uh, this dolphin Reiki where you connect to the Lemurian energy of the dolphins, and there it is. There's the dolphin right up on the head of the crown. So to me, dolphins, even though, you know, look at how the dolphin is kissing the third eye. Like, you are anointed. I am anointing you with this kiss, the kiss of life, right? When that third eye opens, like for real opens, um, it's a whole new life because you're no longer in that. You can no longer go back to the old life that you once were in because it's a whole new life. So, and the number 10 represents rebirth. So look at that. The number 10 has been coming through a lot here. 10, 10, 10. So the phoenix rising from the ashes. I'm seeing the heart chakra lit up, right? With this Lemurian energy, this watery energy in the heart. And I'm seeing harmony. So I love that this came through today on 22222 because harmony, 2222, number two is all about peace, love, and harmony. So... I'm seeing harmonious friendships, some harmonious relationships, harmonious partnerships, harmonious love. And if you are not in a relationship that is harmonious, maybe it is time to find that relationship, or not find a relationship, but to get out of that relationship and get in harmony with yourself. So that was, these were phenomenal cards that just landed in my suitcase. I don't know where the rest of the cards are. I might have left them at home, but that's really strange. So... Okay, so let's get going. Let's keep going. Here we go. So this energy for the 222 portal. What do we have coming through this portal? We have harmony coming through this portal. We have a lot of sh politics, schmolitics. So beware of the snakes in the politics. We have a lot of friends coming together in this 222 portal. So and a lot of um, either getting out of isolation or going into isolation. Okay, so let's get some cards. Boop, bop, beep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. 
Okay, I'm just gonna take, uh, wow, wow, I'm just gonna take them all because they all popped out. It, the whole deck just went, bloop. <laughs> so, but we're just gonna start with the first one, which is amazing because, uh, so Erica and I were sitting at the table this morning and she was showing me this, uh, uh, what do you call it? One of those story filters and it was the cards, like the tarot card, like what's your tarot card for the day? My tarot card was the high priestess. First card to pop out is the high priestess. So I love this. And it's the number two, first card of the day. The real cards. The other the suitcase ones were from home. But these are the real card of the day. We've got number two. So this number two is very powerful right now. This is a very powerful energy. Um, I see her. Um, it looks like she's got a book in her hand. So she's reading a book and she, or she's writing a book or she's looking into a, something about a book uh, coming through. She has got, um, it looks like she's got, a snake in her hand, but it's, yeah, it, it, it's almost a snake, but it's a shawl. Uh, but so taming the snake. All right. I'm seeing like somebody taming the snake. Hi. Hi, Fanny. So, um, and it's Archangel Haniel. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. We, hello, we cannot make this stuff up. Consider carefully what you want before acting. So sometimes we act out, out of impulse. Um, and the part of balancing is to balance our energy enough that we do not act out of impulse, right? Um, and listen to your intuition, whatever your intuition is telling you, right? So I'm definitely seeing somebody writing a book. I'm definitely seeing this water energy, a lot of water and a lot of protection. So the high priestess, your intuition is off the charts. You are manifesting things into reality. You are stepping into your high, high priestess power. You are a high priestess. I'm definitely seeing a lot of Egyptian high priestess energy, Lemurian high priestess energy. I'm also seeing like, you know, what's interesting is I'm going to Salem uh, this next week. Um, and I'll be doing readings out of Salem. But it's a lot of witch energy. So I'm seeing a lot of witch energy. Beautiful that that came through high priestess. I'm seeing book, a book being written. I'm seeing a knight of pentacles, a loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind person. So it's time to buckle down and get things done, right? Honor your commitments. And I'm seeing a guardian angel is by your side. So that's very interesting because I have been feeling this, like throughout my trip, I've been getting this energy like you are protected. You are divinely protected. Um, wherever I go, I'm going to be protected. So it almost takes that feeling of like traveling by yourself away. Because um, it, it can be kind of scary sometimes to travel by yourself, right? But I got Frankie. She's a vicious bitch. She, she'll take care of it. So, and we know the Knight of Earth is the Knight of Pentacles. So definitely seeing some money, money coming in. And I'm not sure if it's the Knight of Pentacles that's the slowest moving night, but I'm seeing money coming in slowly. But money is coming, which was interesting because a lot of eight energy was coming through as well. Um... I'm seeing somebody with this gorgeous hair. Look at this guy's hair. <laughs> it's a dude with this fabulous hair. Don't mind my nails. I haven't got my nails done since my breast cancer thing with Cassia. But um, look at him. Look at his hair. It's like, yeah, dude, he's your knight. He, he is your knight. So we got seven of water making a complex so a complex decision uh deciding what you what what you want to make so a lot of choices and i love that there's all these cups there so a lot of choices which cup is the best cup why not have all of the cups right um research stop procrastinating so this goes very much with the knight of earth so maybe you've been wanting to write a book right and this is telling you to buckle down and get things done and research what you need to research to stop procrastinating. So maybe there's a project that you wanted to get done. And it's like, do a little research on it. Then we had the Ace of Air. Brilliant new ideas. Inspiration. So writing these ideas down. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning. So maybe you've been, this book has been challenging to start. Or this project. Or whatever it is that you've been, a business. Whatever it is that you're, you're, you're starting. This is a general reading. Um, it's almost challenging at first because you're like, I don't know if I could do this or not, but you can because the Ace of Air is all about this new beginning, like taking that first step saying, okay, I can do this. And, um, because you have all these brilliant ideas, like, come on, let's, let's get jumping on these ideas. Like why, what, why are you procrastinating? Because look at these ideas are going to bring you the wheel, Right. 
a time of positive change, and it's Archangel Michael. Here's 10 again, that new beginning. Um, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. These are the most, like, the best cards to get. And then, of course, we get the Knight of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, over here we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I'm seeing those together here. Um, events that occur with great speed. So I'm seeing something happening fast. He's a, I think he's the fastest moving knight. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I could be mistaken. I think he's the fastest moving knight. So um, take time to carefully re review your options. Oh my God, look at There's the carefully. Re These are all eerily connected. I'm almost blown away. Um, by just how eerily connected, not almost, I am, <gasps> this is crazy, a complex decision, right, carefully reviewing your options, right, I'm seeing an op opportunity coming your way, I'm seeing a lot of opportunities, like people offering you something, um, whether this is a business opportunity, or a relationship opportunity, or a friendship opportunity, or some sort of partnership, I'm seeing somebody offering you this opportunity, like, but is it worth it? It's up to you. And I think it is worth it because look at, we got the 10, we got the wheel. You're, so the karma, right? All the things that you've done to like help humanity as a humanitarian in your life, you're being rewarded for it now. Like you've done good. This is the completion of it, right? The wheel has finally come around and it's like you've went through a whole bunch of bullshit and now it's finally, wow, I can breathe. Like this is paying off. Like I can breathe. So, <clears throat> okay, so those are beautiful cards. Uh, let's get a Lenormand card. Let's see how, how, how far I am into this. Oh, we're about an hour in. That's good. Oh my God, 34. <clears throat> the number 34. I don't know the Lenormand deck, um, so I'm just going to read it um, as me studying the imagery. I'm seeing a king here, king of diamonds, so a king of pentacles. Um, I'm seeing somebody with finances that um, this could be your energy, like money coming to you or somebody that is a king of pentacles coming to you. So definitely seeing somebody with finances. Um, there are a lot of sharks, so beware of the sharks in the water, but not all sharks are, are uh, dangerous, right? I think we have a misconception about sharks. They are very complex creatures. Uh, com complex is a word that keeps popping up. Complex, complexity, com complex. Hey, Frankie, Frankie. Um, so yeah, and the number 34 has very deep meaning for me, but the number 34 has been coming through for me for the past five years. So whenever I see it, it I'm reminded of Michael. Um, but I'm also reminded of my father because his birthday was 3-4. So definitely seeing uh, healing father energies for a lot of people. Um, whether this is, um, I don't want to say daddy issues, but maybe a lot of you had issues with your parents that you're healing now. Or you're in relationships that remind you, uh, that, that make you feel safe because you didn't have that safety as a child. Um, so, yeah, um... You are safe. You are divinely protected. You don't need um, anybody to protect you. But I love that. So I'm seeing a lot of water energy again. And this also this one over here looks like a dolphin. So I'm seeing a fish. I'm seeing lots of fish. Like plenty of fish. Plenty of fish in the sea. Or millions of fish in the sea. But I'm a mermaid. Love that. Okay, let's keep going. I think I'm gonna, oh yeah, let's see what, okay, so what's coming in? Um, plenty of opportunities coming in uh, for 220, from now till 222, lots of opportunities throughout the year. This is a portal, it goes till the next year. Um, lots of opportunities coming, lots of financial opportunities coming. What are we healing? What are we healing? I like to like, just ground, Ooh, ah! I love it. Kunzite, heart activation, number six and six, so healing the heart, having compassion, uh, a compassion in a way that you don't, you know, what I have learned being here for <clears throat> the short amount of time that I've been here, <clears throat> having compassion for women and uh, mothers, right, um, just how much they have to go through how much they have to do like the gratitude I have for 
not having children, I guess you would say. I hate to say it like that. Um, it was a reaffirmation of my choices in life that I made a good choice. Um, I made a good choice for me because I don't think I could handle uh, children. <laughs> I have a million nieces and nephews. I love that I can return them back to their parents. I love hanging out with them, but I can return them back to their parents. But man, do I have a new appreciation for mothers and my friends who are mothers and who are patient with their children and who love their children in a way that I was never loved as a child. It's it's inspiring. And um, in my mom's case, she had so many children, I can understand why she, you know, was not as attentive as a mother as she could be. But it's a whole new appreciation for mothers. I'm so very grateful for my mother and I'm grateful for my friends that are mothers and that are, are um, ushering in this new these new kids that are um, raised with tremendous patience and love. So thank you to them. Okay, let's keep going. So uh, Kunzite, um, actually I brought the book because I wanted to see what the totem animal was for these cards. So I'm seeing a lot of pink energy. If you saw the, the, the previous cards, we do have a lot of this pink energy coming through right hey what did i do with the cards anyways they're they're here somewhere but i'm seeing a lot of this pink energy this magenta energy this higher heart chakra energy um the back of the the, the skull the medulla oblongata um utilite right there seeing that energy like magenta pinkish magenta color so what do we are can kunzite kunzite Breathe. Okay. Here we go. So the spirit, the animal totem is the macaw and the parrot. What are the odds of that? So my friends, one of my friend's birds is a parrot. So I think he's a parrot or is he a macaw? I'm not sure, but it's a bird. It's one of those type of birds. So what are the odds of that? Uh, so this is all about heart activation. Um, so letting go of attachments to the past. Healing the past, uh, letting go of the past. Sometimes we live in the past and we forget to live in the present. Uh, we forget how beautiful the present is right now. So remember to live in the present. Yes, you can remember. I think we live in our, a lot of people live in their memories. Like, you know, and I know that sometimes when I'm on Facebook, I, I try not to go on as often because I don't want to like have to see the memories because I'm just kind of replaying the memories. But anyway, I don't know why I said that. So also it's all about uh, mental and emotional balance and it's about surrender. So emotional security, it's about healing depression. Um, it represents Archangel Mary, Aphrodite, the Lady of Rose Light, an Ascended Atlantean High Priestess, another High Priestess card. So we've got two High Priestess cards and a Master um, Enlightenment card with the key. So definitely, definitely um, great, great energy. Um, so Kunzite has come to you to activate your heart and open you to a new level of love, both internally and in the world around you. Kunzite reminds us that as the world around us evolves and changes, the levels of love and activities that must be undertaken to recognize that love uh, also vary. She comes as a messenger entering life when we are missing something that the world around us is offering. She has come to help you see through the heart and receive what you deserve. Not by defining it, but simply knowing it is there in absolute open-hearted deserving trust. So, in the coming days, hold your judgments, mental chatter, and perceptions, and trust your feelings without the need to label them. Just feel your way. Let your heart be your guide, and the unconditional love that surrounds us all will have a chance to enter your life. Just as a falling tree in the forest won't break uh, the eternal silence if there is no one there to hear it unconditional love will also be around you if you simply allow and don't limit it with the mind so the affirmation is in peace i walk the path of the active heart i don't know if i should be talking this much with my throat but <sighs> okay let's keep going Yeah, let's do one more um, crystal card on this end. Let's 
coming through this portal. So in this portal, we're having a heart activation, a love activation, <clears throat> seeing things with new, with the eyes of love, not rose colored glasses, but just seeing things now with compassion and understanding like, ah, oh, okay, I get it. Now I understand like feeling like you're in somebody's shoes and you are, you know, you're feeling that experience. Like, Damn, so grateful. Oh my God. Okay. So this is conflict. Stib night. So, um, what's, I'm just seeing the word conflict, like you're going to be watching the TV or something and somebody's going to say conflict, but, uh, immediately when I see this, I'm not seeing people that are going to be in conflict, but I'm seeing conflicting thoughts, conflicting, like, um, uh, ideas, like decisions, like, oh, I don't know if I should do this and I don't do, I don't know if I should do that. I'm conflicted. So that's how I'm seeing the word. I'm not seeing somebody fighting, but what I love about this card is this always reminds me of, um, Superman. Um, the movie Superman, how he lives, you know, Krypton or whatever, the, the palace or whatever the heck it is. I'm just having a brain fart about Superman right now. Like, um, but that's what that reminds me of, Stupid Night. So, and it's also the Earth Star Chakra. So connecting to that Earth Star Chakra. And making a decision. I feel like um, some sort of decision. Stib night also reminds me of Suge Knight. So I'm seeing like, like Death Row Records, like <laughs> Dr. Dre, which is very interesting because Dr. Dre is doing the Super Bowl this year. So that's going to be real, take me back to ninth grade. It's going to take me back. We'll get one more of these. Well, I love this. So I've been talking about 222, the 22 being the master teacher number. And here it is. Shatukai. The teacher card. So stepping into your teacher role, your your teacher, um, you are a teacher. You have a, the ability to share information and knowledge in a way that people uh, understand. And you don't have to repeat yourself so often. It just, it you know, what you say resonates on a deep level with people and the way that you teach these things. So step into that teacher role. And I'm also seeing somebody having a teacher, like finding a teacher that can teach you what you want to know. Somebody in the world, around the world. And I'm seeing that somebody traveling around the world that teaches you something. Because that looks like a very globe, like Earth. A lot of conflict on Earth. But it's about having compassion for people. Teaching love. I'm seeing a teacher. Are you a teacher? What kind of teacher are you? What do you teach? If you could teach, what would you teach? What do you have an in-depth understanding of that you would teach? Tell me in the comments below. Oh my God, we got Archangel Michael again. Trusting heaven. For me, this is heaven. The Jimmy Eat World song that came through. So you are safe. Angels, stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow the miracle to occur. So allow the miracle to occur. You are safe. Um, look at him. He's just look at that gorgeous hunk of hunk of man. But he's got that beautiful, um, lap, it's a, like a sapphire blue because that's his color, blue. Um, I've been seeing a lot of blue as well. Oh, that's the synchronicity I was going to say. So, um, you guys all know my connection to Merlin. And anytime I find a sphere, a ball, a bead, whatever, it's a whatever, it represents Merlin. Sometimes they're colors, sometimes whatever. Um, on my way to the hotel, exiting the freeway, it's super snowing. And it's just all white. And then right in the center of the snow is a blue ball, like a, like a kid's ball. But it was a nice big ball, blue, just right there by itself, off the freeway in the middle of nowhere. And... I was just blown away because I was like, that's Merlin. Like, talking about my throat, which my throat has been itching and hurting, but it also represents Archangel Michael. Um, it, it represents tranquility and peace, the teacher, right? It's beautiful. So trust, trust the process, trust in heaven. I'm in heaven. Do I want to read it? I mean, we already know what Archangel Michael says, but why not? He's the very first card. Um... His twin flame is faith. 
So that's interesting, right? His card is trust, and his twin flame is faith. Um, I've heard other... other um, no, I don't think I have. I'm thinking of Jesus. So his name means he who is like God, and his fiery presence helps awaken our... Oh, fiery! Helps awaken our leadership skills and reminds us that we have the capacity to connect with heaven. So leadership skills, I was talking about that too. Teacher, leading. Like you being in front, leading the way for others. Um... If challenges present, are present in your life, call upon Michael to bring the sword of light to energetically disconnect you from what's no longer serving you. So if there's something that in your life that you want to disconnect from, whether this is an addiction or a relationship or a job or whatever, call upon Archangel Michael and he and, and visualize him um, in all his fiery glory with his sword and just cutting it away. Okay. We're not done yet, Frankie. Frankie's like, I'm ready to go. Let's see what time it is. Oh my god, it's three, three, three. Three, three, three. Can you see it? It's three, three, three. As I'm talking about Archangel Michael. What a beautiful synchronicity. What a beautiful synchronicity. Huh, Frankie? Don't you think so? Oh my goodness. You like watching my readings? Are they so fun? Are they so fun? <gasps> Ooh, that card went flying. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Archangel, I mean, Mother Mary. Our Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Faith. Faith. Well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. I know not everybody. <laughs> uh, but look at this. Um, there's a child there. And she's, you know, there's all these angels that are surrounding her. So you are surrounded by angels. And you have this idea of, like, how you want your life to go. And it's about having faith and trusting the process, right? you got to trust the process. So both of these two cards coming out is like, wow. I'm blown away right now. So excited, so excited. That was awesome. I gotta have some tea. Okay. Um, I had plans to do like all these other cards, but I feel like that's just too much stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of do a couple more. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, love it. We got four animal cards that popped out. I wasn't going to keep them, but the way they flew out. We got the humpback whale. Sounds of the sea, number seven, 16, seven. So seeing the truth. I'm seeing like ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge, um, whale sounds, whales. Um, look at that whale. He's got this big blue eye. But. Hi, Estrellita. So uh, the humpback whale, which represents ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom. Like I was talking about sharks and I was talking about the dolphins, right? So all the same kind of energy. And the whales have this ancient song that they sing and the, the song is very healing. So I'm seeing maybe somebody surfing and seeing a whale or somebody out in the ocean seeing a whale. The next one, I love it. Number 22. Wow, we're having some like number synchronicities in this video. So we got the cheetah, which is all about the divine feminine. And look at, look at the sword behind it. So 22 to me represents Michael. Um, and we got Archangel Michael twice. And then we have, again, Archangel Michael with the sword, again, twice. So cutting out the bullshit, the divine feminine energy, uh, cutting out shit that no longer serves you. Um, and embracing your divine feminine um, side, right? A cheetah. The next one, I love it. Because look at we got number 34. Well, I'm not there yet. But let's get to monkey first. 26, monkey number eight again. So number eight is a repeating thing in this video. So I'm seeing somebody making, a, getting a lot of money coming in. A lot of money is coming in from wherever, whichever place. But I love the monkey because it's all about being playful. So being playful, tapping into that playful side. I'm seeing monkeys. 
Um, one little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell down and broke his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said something monkeys jumping on the bed. So I'm seeing monkeys. Um, I'm seeing my, one of my favorite cards. So I just said number 34. So we got 34, 34. 34, 34 twice. So 34, we got the kite, the magic messenger. Magic messengers exist all around you. This is all about the synchronicities. So I'm seeing a lot of birds here, but I'm also seeing the synchronicities. So this is all about the universe sending you signs and synchronicities in the form of synchronicity. When you are in alignment with source, you, the synchronicities are off the chains. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, Stella says that uh, she's got other readers that are doing lives right now, so she's spreading her time, but that she likes my um my no bullshit style <laughs> so thank you for that i try to have a no bullshit style right so that's pretty awesome that we got so the number 34 34 we've got um archangel michael twice coming through we've got have faith coming through with archangel michael then we got a miracle coming in with um expect a miracle have faith so faith 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 um <laughs> like the Limp Biscuit song or the George Michael song. Uh, so we got monkeys, we got the cheetah, we got the humpback whale, and we got the kite. So we, we do have a lot of ocean and we got a lot of birds coming through. Uh, a lot of watery energy, like a lot of intuition, like diving deep. So as at the beginning of the video, I was talking about my, um, my... I was talking about my dream, right? Hitting the subconscious. So the basement represents the subconscious. And so when you finally hit that depth of your subconscious where you can't go any further, there's no way to go but back up. So the humpback whale is the, the animal that, or the um, mammal that dives the deepest into the ocean. They are the ones that go, aside from the fish that are already down there, they are the ones that go the deepest. So this is about you finally going real deep into your journey and You've already hit it. You've hit the bottom ocean floor. You've hit the ocean floor. And now it's time for you to come up and out into the water, out of the water, like evolution. And when you come out of the water, what does it do? So the evolution is they come out of the water, they have hands and feet. And then the, after that, they get um, wings. Frankie. Um, they get wings. So you're getting your wings. I'm seeing somebody with wings, like whether it's angel wings, I'm seeing wings because we do have a lot of wings with the, the Archangel Michael cards and the first cards that came through. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of wings coming through. I think the cat, she has a cat named Beauty that's out the door and Frankie's like, I want to see Beauty now. Okay, so we're getting to the end here. It is 340, so I don't want to get make this too long. But let's get one of my favorite cards. One of, oh, wait, no, 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 no. I wanted to do the sacred geometry. We're not leaving without the sacred geometry. Because I feel like sacred geometry, like something's going on with sacred geometry. Like, okay, so we're going to get one of these. So what was I just talking about? Emergence. I said the, the whale is emerging from the depths, right? And look at, we got emergence. And look, look at this. It's like, it's got wings. It almost looks like a dragonfly. But no, it got, it's got wings. So definitely seeing wings. Something about wings happening here within, within this, this month of February. And empowerment. So I was talking about the empowerment as well, like stepping into your divine feminine nature and your divine feminine uh, capabilities and your intuition and just like, boom, boom, boom. Like you've been living in logic side for so long in this masculine energy of like logic and, uh, you know, I don't like to say like the lack mentality, but now you're, you're going past that. Like you're empowered and you are independent. You're becoming independent. But I love this card. So soak that in. Soak in, soak in those DNA codes. That's a beautiful one. I love that one. I love that one. Look at 
It does look like a dragonfly, but it does, it does, what does the dragonfly represent, right? The dragonfly represents emergence, it represents, uh, re, it's very spiritual. If you've never seen the movie Dragonfly with um, Kevin Costner, I highly recommend it. It's trippy, and you will love it if you're like into, you know, spirit and the way the spirit communicates through synchronicity. Highly recommend watching it. Yeah, I was talking about hitting rock bottom. So at the, if you rewatch the beginning of the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so we're emerging from that rock bottom. We're on the elevator and we're going straight up to the very top. We are going up to the very top, right? You are being empowered now um, because you you put yourself in a timeout. I feel that's what the, the energy I'm getting. Like a lot of people had put themselves in a timeout because they didn't feel subconsciously, right? Because the basement's coming through subconsciously. You don't feel that you deserve these things. So you gotta tell your mind, I am worthy of everything. And when you tell your mind you're worthy of it all, the universe is gonna provide you that. So, oh my God, I love these cards. Janosh, thank you for creating them. Okay, and then I wanted to get a um, Ascended Master card. So I only got a couple more cards left. And, um, The gold and silver cloak. I'm seeing a cloak. Somebody wearing a cloak. Um, when I think of gold and silver, uh, I think of the divine feminine, the divine masculine brain, right? The left and the right brain, the sun and the moon, um, the yin and the yang, the yin and the yang, right? So so number 26. So 26 has come through already, I think, a few times now. Uh, and the number eight, so the number eight's coming through a lot. So that's money, money coming in, money coming in, abundance, entrepreneur, take going, stepping into your entrepreneurial ship ism, entrepreneurial ism. You have chosen the card of perfect harmony. <gasps> Look, two, two, two is all about peace, love, and harmony, and patience. And this is the card of harmony. Partnerships, love, harmonious love, partnerships, harmonious love, friendships. Um, you have chosen the card of perfect harmony. When you balance your wisdom and power, giving and receiving, your connection with hollow earth in the seventh heaven, it offers you encourage. It offers you the courage to love. This makes you magnetic to people, animals, and situations, so that you can attract all that is for your highest good. Your guidance is to bring yourself into harmony and balance. Then visualize yourself wearing the gold and silver cloak, so that you draw in angel sonics to purify the energy around you. Expect the unexpected and miracles. And miraculous oh my god expect a miracle expect a miracle uh, expect a miracle what else where's the other one expect a miracle <gasps> you can't I you guys all saw me shuffle and pull them out expect a miracle there's a miracle coming that you thought was not possible so beautiful okay um, I'm gonna do the Mayan cards I've been getting a lot of uh, Mayan energy as well. Some weird, strange Mayan energy. I wonder if I brought, up, brought them all. Here we go. Oh my goodness, guys. This is getting real, real eerie. The magic staff. This is the magic staff. This is like Sib is a uh, kib is like when I see this, not only do I think of the of Reiki, Reiki energies stepping into that teacher role uh, for Reiki. Maybe you've been wanting to get into Reiki or learn Reiki or go get a Reiki healing. Um, but it reminds me of the chakra. Um, and it's the golden spiral to me representing the journey that we have traveled all the way down to the basement and now we're coiling back out. I'm seeing like the Kundalini rising up, but I'm also seeing the DNA codons, like all of it, just like bing, 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 bing. You're clearing all this stuff out, so you might be having like health stuff happening, like us, like real ascension systems, uh, uh, systems, real ascension symptoms. Like me, I got this flu-like ascension symptoms. I thought it was COVID, but it wasn't. It's it was this real like flu. I, it was the flu, and. Um, you know, because the flu exists, guys. It still exists. Here we go. 
So this is the owl. I love this. So the owl came through and then the kite came through. So what does the owl represent? Number 33. Number 33 came through. Enlightenment. Wisdom. You are being enlightened and it is up to you to decide. Um, it's up to you. You are a conduit, right? The energy comes through the crown. So a lot of artists are conduits. They channel this amazing information from source and it comes down through them and it comes out of their hands and they're able to draw and paint and write and do all these beautiful, you know, interpretive dance, etc. So this is all about trusting the process. Look at that again. So grace. Having grace, giving yourself grace, the beauty of grace is, is is amazing. I'm also seeing Grace by Jeff Buckley, the album Grace. I love that album. It's probably my top three of all time. Um, you're a galactic conduit. Reception, receptivity. What did it? What did I say with the the, the Rage Against the Machine song? Uh, giving, uh, downloading, receiving, right? Reception, mystic transmission, right? Transmitting and receiving. Divine communication, cosmic consciousness, golden pillars, the ferryman staff. So the shadow wisdom is you're not lacking, you're, you're lacking trust in your own intuition, your ability to feel and act on guidance from spirit. So you're, you're lacking that. But the shadow transformation is you establish your divine connection, become a direct conduit for spirit, trust in your mystical intelligence, attune yourself to the clear signals from your inner guidance. So... I take up the staff of my power. That's the affirmation. And the, put your hands up in a V. Arms raised in a V. Like Pearl Jam's Jeremy. <laughs> what are the odds? Because uh, Erica kept mentioning Pearl Jam to me. And Pearl Jam came through in one of the songs yesterday. But the mudra. Arms reach out in a large V above the head as if to receive galactic communication. Then fingertips come together to touch the third eye. And then lower to the side, palms outward, forming a V. So let's do this together. Palms out, standing straight. Bring them down to the third eye. Bringing them down to form another upside down V. And breathing it all in. And do that as many times as you feel guided. And the affirmation was, I take up the staff of my power. So beautiful. Okay, let's get to uh, one final card because it looks like Frankie needs to go potty. So let me just do this one last. Um... Oh my God, this card was already flipped over. Smooth and easy. So I'm seeing things that are going to be smooth and easy. I don't know why, but I'm seeing somebody having like uh, bowel movements. <laughs> bowel movements and the smooth and easy. <laughs> Maybe it's been hard. <gasps> But I'm seeing smooth and easy, and it's the number 28, so number 10 again. So we've gotten a lot of 10s in here. New beginning. So let's get the final card. Okay, Frankie, we're almost done here. What Frankie says, Frankie says. Arms raised in a V. Oh, my God, number 9. And under that, the magic carpet ride. Aladdin. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. So um, we got brand spanking new, number nine. So the ending of a cycle, stepping into a new beginning, right? Uh, I love all this beautiful purple that's come through. It's this magenta. A lot of magenta came through in this reading. A lot of like hot pink, magenta, like purplish lilac color, lilac wine. I feel I'm ready. So brand spanking new, you know how it feels after a fresh rain, everything is pure, clean, washed to its precious, beautiful core. You want to stick your nose in the air and take a big whiff? Petrichor? That's your life right now. There's not one blemish, not one flaw. It's a perfect 10. It is a perfect 10. And I think that you're focusing on the wrong things that make you feel like it's not perfect. And then we got Magic Carpet, number 42, number six. So once again, a whole new world. Aladdin, I'm seeing a whole new world. Go ahead, open it. It's your invitation for a personal Magic Carpet ride to anywhere you want to go. 
You don't even need to send an RSVP. Jump aboard, my friend. You are on your way to enchantment and miracles. <sighs> smooth and easy. It's smooth and easy. It's a smooth and easy journey. So I just want to just... It's 3.52. We're almost going to two hours here. So I just want to say thank you guys. Oh, wait. No, we're not done yet. Shoot. Girl, guy. I forgot about my Ascension cards. Sorry, Frankie. She's just like over here like growling and whimpering. Gonna do one of these. Hi, Nim. So choice, by staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. So I, that's already three different, four different cards that talk about there's a choice to be made. You get to decide. So like me, uh, let's take me for example. I'm taking a road trip right now. I'm going through all the East Coast states. I'm going through to North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, whatever, right? I'm taking this road trip and I have the choice to decide which states I want to go through and which states I don't. So you have choices and you get to decide where you want to go, where you want to take it. So that's beautiful. And you, blue flame, blue again, connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of blue, you guys, the blue ball that started my journey, the blue. So um, Archangel Michael, uh, come through how many times already? So definitely seen a lot of blue energy. Romance, right? Cupid's arrow strikes. So if you've been wanting romance in your life, and it could, be, it could also be like you romancing yourself, you know. To, to me, this is my journey, loving myself, taking myself on a trip, doing things, you know. But I love this. Look at that. They're connected. Their third eyes are touching. She's a, she's a lit. Look at that. Magenta. Again, the magenta color that I keep talking about. Look. There it is again. So this beautiful magenta flame, like the, the feminine aspect is in, is on fire, like not li literally on fire, but you know what I mean? Like the, the female energy is like, boom, boom, boom. They're, they're synchronicity signs, blah, 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 blah. Look at that. See, Nim? Nim says, uh, I'm wearing an Archangel Michael bracelet right now in blue. Yes, we were just, you missed it, but you can come back and watch the replay. I, I talked a whole bunch about Archangel Michael and the color blue. Um, but look at that. And, and they're surrounded in blue. Look at that blue surrounding. It's like their aura. So it's beautiful. And their third eyes are touching. That means they're telepathically connected. So you're telepathically connected with your soulmates, your soul connections, right? Um, you are connected. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get one more of those. Frankie's still like, oh, I thought you said one. Oh my God. They are your mirror reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. How many times has faith come through? I'm surprised faith didn't come through in the songs. But there's faith again. And I love this because there's there she is again with blue. A blue butterfly. Transformation. You see that? Um, and it looks like this beautiful blue Hawaiian flower. This reminds me of that Brandon, the Brandon Boyd video that he just put out, Dime in My Dryer. Um, he has, it's like a cartoon show or a cartoon uh, music video. And there's a girl that looks just like this, but in, yeah, like that, like she's, but it's a profile of her and she's got the flower, same blue flower in her hair. So isn't that like, that's phenomenal. Highly recommend that video. It's got a lot of, uh, I don't know how things work or how I, my foresight works, but if you go back to my stories the past few months, Every major image that was in that video, I picked up on it in my story. So I don't know what that's about. I think uh, as we are ascending, we're all tapping into the same source of things. And things are being pulled down. And so we're picking up on things that other people are picking up on um, and sharing it. So it's pretty awesome to, to see just how connected and intertwined we all are. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful experience. So excited. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at her third eye. Her third eye is open. Like this this person's third eye is open and naturally open. You know, it didn't require any type of psychedelics or anything like that. This is like straight up um, kundalini awakening energy open. So that's beautiful. So I just want to say thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, I'm going to just upload the, the replay is going to be up in just a few minutes after I, I say goodbye. But I just want to just say thank you guys all so much for watching and, and for 
being patient with me. I guess that's the theme of 222, right? Is patience. I needed to feel ready to be back. And I felt really ready today. And I hope to be back for the 222 portal. So wish me luck. And I'll definitely try to be back for the 33 portal as well. Um, but thank you guys all so much for watching. I love you guys all so much. I will see you when I'm back in California. Not sure. I, I think I'll still be on my road trip um, by the 33 portal. We shall see. Okay, everybody. Love you guys. Oh, yeah. Love you guys.